the spring of 2014, a lot of factors were kind of in flux in my life and things had been kind of guiding me towards Tiger Army and being inspired to um, write a new album after the time I'd spent playing solo, uh, playing you know Americana music. And um, that all wound up coalescing into this trip that I took through Arizona, New Mexico with kind of the intention of kind of getting away from everything, getting inspired and trying to write some songs. Ideas were starting to kind of percolate in my head about what the record might be and what some of the inspirations and influences might be. And I felt like I should go into the American Southwest. There's a highway that kind of goes north almost right after you cross the Arizona border. You're just on this two lane road. Um, you can drive for miles and miles and nobody comes up behind you and you don't come up behind anybody. And I can't count the number of times that that happened. Um, so it was, it was kind of majestic as I was driving. I saw this motel um, where we're at now. There was something kind of amazing about it. It's not the kind of thing you just run across. On that night, it felt like you were kind of stepping back in time and there was something kind of magical about it. The idea that the desert is a, a strange place where um, unusual things happen, whether it was atomic testing in the 40s and 50s, um, whether it's a place that people kind of live by their own rules. I know that every time we tour, when I leave California and we start heading east, um, it was always really exciting for me to come into Arizona and New Mexico. And once I took that trip, the songs kind of poured out of me in a, a pretty short amount of time, really. We're here at the uh, Hotel Gadsden in Douglas, Arizona. This is a place that I just kind of happened across. I saw it from the saw it from the road, and I stopped in, and I couldn't I couldn't believe this lobby. It's so it's so opulent. I find great inspiration in old things, not just because they're old, but the amount of of detail and craftsmanship in the Art Nouveau period, the Art Deco period. Those are things that I don't think you could recreate for any amount of money in this day and age uh, because people don't have, people don't have those skills anymore. They don't have the time, they don't have the patience. And uh, sadly, I think there's some parallels there with uh, you know, the music industry. Everyone in terms of making records wants to cut corners, doing art for art's sake and doing it the right way putting in the time, putting in the effort. You have all these forces kind of pushing against that, pushing you towards compromise, pushing you towards cutting corners, pushing you towards um, wrapping it up for the sake of efficiency. To do things in the old way, um, which I believe there's a, a lot of value to sometimes, you do have to kind of fight for that and struggle. You know, finding that inspiration was, I guess, a big, reason that it, it took so long um, to, to do another Tiger Army record. I never wanted to do it just to do it. I never wanted to do it to make money or to hit a tour schedule. I'd never want to compromise it by just kind of throwing something out there that I didn't really believe in and feel passionate about. But the, the downside to that is that it took a while to uh, find that idea to do something new.